too. But okay, let's talk about World of Warcraft. Shards of Domination. That's not what the patch is called. But <laughs> fucking might as well be. <laughs> it, yeah, it is, it is our first story. So, mm-hmm. Shards of Domination buffs and fixes. How utterly exciting. Where, with the weekly maintenance in each region, Blood Link has been uh, buffed by 20%. Winds of Winter has uh, been increased by 45%. So they're doing this rather than doing the big nerfs, which I think is uh, certainly the way to do it. Mm -hmm. It's the way to do it. Um, People were not particularly thrilled at the just nerf that slipped into the game then was taken away. Secret secret nerfs just before someone killed Sylvanas and didn't get the kill as a result. Thank you. Shard of Rev. It's now going to drop from Sylvanas. I'm sure this is big news for many of us who want to get our Shard of Rev. <laughs> and, uh... Rev nuts. What's it? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Then, uh, yes, this is the big one. Shards of Domination can no longer be inserted into an occupied socket. Developers notes, we've made this change to prevent accidentally losing a shard by inserting another shard in its place without first extracting it. You can purchase a Soulfire Chisel to extract embedded shards from Bonesmith Hyremere in Corthia for 2,500 Stygian. Now, now, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I don't want to proclaim... Proclaim that I have the answers to all of the pertinent questions of the day. But what if, if you dragged a shard of domination onto a shard of domination, they just swapped and the other one would be in your bag? You know. Unreasonable. I'm not saying I have an IQ of 500,000, but I think that might have been the solution from the very beginning. Definitely thinking a little bit outside the box here, and that's not tolerated around these parts. I love how this outside the box thinking is literally just going for (laughs) the most immediately obvious way for this to work. No, no, no. They'll be destroyed if you don't use the chisel. (laughs) Jesus, what the fuck do you mean? Oh, it's the fantasy in the world building. I just sit there and think about, oh, here, here am I. I've just, you know, I've got my hammer. I've got my chisel. I'm just going, oh, there we go. The gem's out and oh, put it in. That's just how satisfying, you know, I really feel like I work for my shard of dog. I don't even own a shit. I, I have, I, right, okay. So I don't actually own the chisel because yep. I got, uh, <laughs> I've got 2,050 Stygia. I've had 2,050 Stygia for like two weeks and I have had a thing to swap into my bit of gear. Fuck. But I've just been like, <laughs> okay. yeah. just with everything going on as well. Like I, I, I was like, okay, I am raid logging. Fuck it. I, I don't want to go near any of this shit. Just with everything swirling around. You guys yeah. know what it does. It's just not felt like, oh, it's big time to play well. Uh, so I've just, I've never got the 450 stage yet. <laughs> so I've got all these fucking shards. <laughs> I just need to go get some stitchy. Yeah. Um, I mean, but I'm, yeah, there you go. I'm hey, actually, system's fixed. Yeah, I'm actually going to play a little, just a little bit of devil's advocate. I'm going to offer an even further outside the box thinking. Oh, wow. Oh my so God. if we say, we say the soul fire chisel is absolutely 100% necessary in this, in this thinking, this is solid. <laughs> what you do is you I'm make like it feel cool. Yeah. Which means you have to go, you have to go and this is very TBC, but imagine you had to go and do something in order to put the fucking shard into the chest or Matt, into the gear in the first place. There is an airplane full of mythic raiders. They are coming into Belfast International Airport and their mission is to kill you. Good. <laughs> Good. I hope they succeed. But like, that's the, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my thought. It's like, there's a way where you could have that be a really soulful fantasy where you go and you have to use almost kind of like the rune carver, but maybe, you know, maybe it's in the raid or maybe it's in the middle of Desmeteron or something and you have to go there and socket it. But you do that in a world where, you know, you don't, you aren't changing them all the time. You do that in the world where it is a solid thing. You maybe be changing this once every couple of weeks by design. But that's the thing where you can have... Any, s- any covenant members in chat? <laughs> Yeah, but I'm, like, I'm just trying to think, is there a way to have all of this stuff that feels fun and interesting in the old school kind of way? You go in, you get your... <laughs> you, you see, you have this big animation. You're really... Mm. You're, you're, you're drawing in some ancient maw magic to fuse this gem to the, to the piece. So to get it out, you need something really interesting. So you go do a quest and then buy it for 2,500 Stygia. Look at that. You've got content. You've got some soul in the same system. But then, you know, it's like we're in the middle right now where we're in the middle between this 
beautiful, soulful, ah, uh, this is how it was in the good old days, boomer shit. And then you've got Zoom Zoom Mythic Raider. And we're just stuck in the middle. And no one's happy. <laughs> yeah, and I like feel like that's one. the problem. Like, Yeah, now you did talk about soul and soulfulness. Remember, soul is just a currency called anima. <laughs> Fuck off. Remember. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I mean, why experience pretty animation and some soulful gameplay when you can literally collect soul points? Um, so, yeah, there you go. Shards of Domination. Fixed. They're Sorted? fixed. They're better now. Snorted like They're great. We love them. Hmm. Just that so they confer zero interest in gameplay benefits and are just an annoying way to lop off X percent throughput and then put it back. You know, give it back to us in a in a different way. Yeah. So um epic, epic, epic. Love it. Epic. <laughs>